Greetings, Internet people. You're tuned into the Keep It Real RN channel. My name is Craig, and I'll be your host. Today, we're going to talk about the ADN versus the BSN. Now, there's a lot of videos out there that debate the merits of the ADN versus BSN, but today we're going to talk about the financials of getting an ADN versus a BSN. And we're going to make sense of the dollars and cents so that when you decide to go to nursing school, that you can make the best financial choice for your situation. But first, let's dim the lights. To help you decide which is a better choice for you, an ADN versus a BSN, let's follow the money. Let's look at annual tuition cost. Where I live, in-state tuition at a typical community college where you get your associate's degree in nursing runs $6,343 per year. In-state tuition for a BSN runs $12,060 per year. A BSN from a prestigious private university runs a whopping $33,784 per year. Now bear in mind that these costs do not include books and other miscellaneous expenses you're going to incur on your path to higher education. This is simply the cost of getting your foot in the door for one year. Let's look at total tuition costs. An associate's degree in my area takes three years. The nursing program itself is two years and you have to have a year of prereqs to get in. So for three years at a community college, the total tuition cost, not including books and other miscellaneous expenses, is $19,029. In-state tuition at a state college for a BSN, assuming you get the job done in four years, will run you $48,240. Tuition at our prestigious private university, assuming you get the job done in four years, will run you a whopping $135,136. Again, Bear in mind that this is just for tuition. It does not cover books and other miscellaneous expenses that you will incur on your path to higher education. Let's look at these total tuition costs again. In our private prestigious university, unless you have a scholarship, have parents who are independently wealthy and willing to fund your college education, or unless you're independently wealthy yourself, if you have to borrow money going to our private prestigious university is a very, very bad idea. For those of you who are still with me now, you must be paying for your education yourself or a good portion of it. So that leaves us with the associate's degree from the community college or a BSN from the State University. Let's look at our ADN and BSN costs again. At this point, we're comparing apples to oranges. And in order to compare apples to apples here, what we need to do is we need to factor in the cost of an ADN to BSN bridge program. Now, if you're an ADN nurse or going to be an ADN nurse, the truth is, is that in most hospitals at some point in time, you will probably be forced to get your BSN if you want to keep your job. Where I live, the in-state tuition at a, an accredited state university for an ADN to BSN bridge program is $9,000. And that's for 30 credits, and that should take you two years if you go full-time. That will give us a grand total of $28,000. $29. As you can see, the total cost of our ADN and ADN to BSN program combined is still $20,000 less than at our state university. 
the total time it takes for you to get your BSN doing the ADN and the ADN to BSN bridge program will be a minimum of five years versus the BSN from the state university, which is going to take you a minimum of four years. Now, what I'm going to point out to you is that in choosing one path or another, there are tremendous opportunity costs that I will be pointing out. What are these opportunity costs that you speak of? Well, if you have two people that are pursuing nursing at the exact same time, and one of them is pursuing an ADN and the other one is pursuing a BSN, the person who is pursuing the ADN, assuming they get done with the program in the minimum amount of time, will be done in three years. And the person who getting the BSN, if they get done in the minimum amount of time, will be done in four years. This gives the person who went for the ADN one year of work under their belt while the person who is going for their BSN is still in school. I'm going to show you how getting into the workforce a year earlier is really going to pay off. In my area, a new grad RN makes about $30 an hour. If you work 0.9 and that's three 12-hour shifts a week or 72 hours per pay period, that makes for an annual salary of $56,160. If you also add to that that most of the hospitals in my area have some type of tuition reimbursement, which will significantly help you defray the cost of your ADN to BSM bridge program. In fact, where I work, if you spread that bridge program over two or three years, the tuition reimbursement will more than cover that expense. So let's compare the two methods of obtaining a BSN again. In order to really make an accurate assessment here, we also have to factor in the opportunity costs with going for the BSN from the state university. So the real cost of getting the BSN from the state university also includes the opportunity cost of $56,160 from the year that you weren't working and still going to school where your ADN counterpart was working full time and making a salary. So with the BSN, if you factor in the tuition cost and the opportunity cost, that comes to $104,400. If you're lucky enough to work at a hospital that has tuition reimbursement, you can knock that $9,000 off your bridge program cost, and you're back down to your original $19,029. Now, it may seem that I'm partial to the ADN and the BSM bridge program, and I am for people who are of modest financial means. I went to a four-year university, a state university, and got my BSN right from the get-go, and I had to borrow a substantial amount of money to do so. When I started my BSN program, I had some friends and coworkers who were also starting their ADN program, and what I saw was I saw them graduate a year before me and enter the workforce for an entire year while I was still finishing school. What I saw was that they had a much smaller debt load and had one extra year in the workforce. The truth of the matter is, is that 99% of the employers out there really don't care where you went to school, as long as it was an accredited school of nursing that allowed you to sit for the nursing boards, and you passed, and you got your license. What is important is to make sure that you choose a school that is accredited, that has a long history of being around and will be around for a long time. And choose a school that makes sense to your financial situation. If you have to borrow an excess of $100,000 to go to the prestigious private nursing school, you'll be paying that back for a very, very long time. Please rate this video and leave a comment below. If you like this video, share it with a friend. In fact, share it with a friend even if you think it sucks. Hit the subscribe button up there and join us as a passenger on the Keep It Real RN Express. So until next time, keep it real.